$1.98 mason jar. Can't beat it. Hi everyone. As promised, and as always, we are going to be showing you how to make a facial cream this weekend, a do-it-yourself facial cream. So the things we are going to need to complete this, I just ran to my local herb store and picked up some rose petals, some rose hip, we have some lavender, and some calendula, calendula. Now we are going to be this week just making the cold infusion for the facial cream. The actual step-by-step -step on the facial cream will come next week. So the step-by-step -step this week is on the cold infusion, um, which will translate to many of our projects. So it's a very good thing to know. And that will lead us into next week's video, which will be the step-by-step -step on making this cream. Um, so we also have 16 ounces of almond oil as well as some mango butter and there are two essential oils we're going to use for this um, carrot seed and a little bit of thieves oil so that is all the ingredients that will go into our cold infusion um, which stay tuned is coming up next Hi everybody, so we are going to be doing our step-by-step -step on a cold infusion. The cold infusion is like we did with our salve. Um, you can do this anytime you need an oil base for a do-it-yourself recipe. Um, so what you're going to need is a mason jar, which we picked up um, at Wally World the other day. And $1.88, can't beat it. This is going to be your container. You're going to need our almond oil, your herbs, and if you want, you could throw a little essential oil in there, you know, just for good measure. So real simple, you take your herb and place it inside your mason jar. This is exactly one half ounce of lavender. Um, every part of this particular facial Cream's recipe is a half ounce as far as the dry herbs go. This is a half ounce of rose petal. And my missus will kill me because I'm spilling it all over the place, but that's fine. Um, a half ounce of calendula. which honestly I've never really worked too much with calendula. Um, I have researched it, um, you know, on paper, but it's the first time I've actually worked with it, so I'm really interested to find out how well it does. It was recommended to me by my local herbalist when I told her what we were doing next. So definitely gonna give that a go. And then a half ounce of rose hip. Rose petal and rose hip do have separate properties, which will be explained um, in one of my explanation videos. But both of them smell heavenly. Then the next step in this is we are going to put in our almond oil. We're using almond oil instead of like a, an olive oil because it absorbs a lot quicker and for a face cream, you don't want it heavy on your face. Um, or anything like that. You don't want to get that oily feeling afterwards. So 16 ounces of almond oil. And we are going to add one, actually we're going to add four drops of carrot seed essential oil. 
So here we go. One, two, three, four. And we're going to add four drops of thieves' oil. One, two, three, four, five. Five drops, I guess. <laughs> I was shooting for four, but that's how it goes. Then you're going to lid this nice and tight. Once it's nice and tight, you want to shake the heck out of it. So you are going to want to give this a good shake at least once a day for about a week. So you let these set for about a week. You can go up to four weeks, um, but I find a week to be just perfect, which is going to fall right in line with our video tutorial on how to make your own facial cream, which we will use this exact batch of cold infusion, which today you have learned how to make. So it's really simple. You take your dried herbs, you take um, you know, a couple of essential oils, you don't want to use all of them, and whatever your carrier oil is, put it inside a container. It doesn't have to be a mason jar, but anything with a lid that you can shake, and then you let it sit. You just let it sit for, again, about a week. Um, you can go all the way up to about a month, you know, four weeks. Give it a shake every day. Just come back and give it a good shake until you're ready to use it. And when it's all said and done, it will look something like this. It will start breaking down the material into the actual oil itself. This is one that I've had set for about three weeks now. Um, and this is for a pain salve. So it's gonna go from looking like this to looking something like this. Um, it should break down really well for you. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, please let me know um, and I will do my very best to get back to you. I am pretty good about that. Um, in the meantime, you have a great day.